in the morning or in the night, he would recite as much ayat, as many ayat as he could from the Quran. But there were some specific ayat that he chose and some specific surahs that he chose to recite night and day, such as Ayat al Kursi, which is the best ayat of the Quran, such as Surah Al Ikhlas, which equals to the third of the Quran according to our beloved Prophet. He used to recite also these two blessed surahs, Surah Al-Falaq and Surah Al-Nas. We call them Al-Mu'awwidatayn. The Prophet Sallallahu used to ask for Shifa using several du'as. But when these two surahs came, he used to use only these two surahs to cure and to ask for the shifa of any disease. This shows the greatness of these surahs. We would not go into the details, we just want to mention a couple of du'as that we learned from the Quran, from the Prophet wasallam, so that we can use them in our daily lives as the Prophet wasallam, used to use them in his daily life. The Prophet وسلم, he used to make this great dua in the morning. He would say, Allahumma inni asbahtu ushiduka wa ushidu hamalata arshika wa malaikatak wa jami'a khalqik annaka anta Allah. O oh Allah, I am here in this morning calling you to witness, calling upon your, upon the carriers of the Ash, upon the angels, calling upon all that which you have created, calling them to bear witness and to witness that I bear witness that there is none to be worshipped but Allah, that you are the only one true God. Annaka anta Allah La ilaha illa anta wahdaka la sharika lak wa anna muhammadan abduka wa rasuluk To begin the day. And he would say also this uh, very great ayah Hasbi Allahu la ilaha illahu alayhi tawakkaltu wa huwa rabbul arsh al-azim which is one of the two ayats that was the last found when the Sahaba was to gather the Quran in a book from the chest of the Sahaba who memorized it from the different papers or different items that they used to write it. Zayn ibn Thabit, who was in charge of that, said these are the last ayat I found which which is uh, or which are وَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولٌ مِنْ أَنْفُسِكُمْ عَزِيزٌ عَلَيْهِ مَا عَنِتْرُمْ حَرِيصٌ عَلَيْكُمْ بِالْمُؤْمِنِينَ رَوْبٌ رَحِيمٌ فَإِنْ تَوَلَّوْا فَقُلْ حَسْبِيَ اللَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا هُوَ عَلَيْهِ تَوَكَّلْتُ وَهُوَ رَبُّ الْعَرْشِ الْعَظِيمِ A portion of the last ayah is part of the Prophet's Zik, daily Zik or daily Du'as. Zayd ibn Thabit he is one of the first people of the Ansar who have memorized the Quran. Not only the Quran, but he was of an intellect extraordinary. When the Prophet ﷺ migrated to Medina, he was only 17 years old. And he memorized many surahs. Because Mus'ab ibn Umayr went to there before the Prophet came and showed them some ayat and some surahs. And the Prophet one day appointed him to learn Lughat Bani Yahud, a Syriyaliyah. He learned it 
in few days know anything about that language, the language of the Jews. And the Prophet appointed him as his translator. He's the one interpreting what the Prophet said and translating what they say. And he learned their books. And the Prophet said so many good things about this particular person, Zayd ibn Thabit, rahimahullah ta'ala wa radhi anhu, wa an jami ashab Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He would also say, Allahumma ma asbaha bi min ni'mati, aw bi ahadin min khalqika fa min kawahdak, la shayika lak, fa laka alhamdu wa laka shukr. Saying this, you are giving everything that you have, you are giving it back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You bear in witness that everything that you have, or anything else that were bestowed to someone other than you is by Allah, from Allah. Therefore, you will not have problems seeing people having whatever they may have, because you know that it is an action, it is a job of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who knows where to put things. He knows, who knows who to give things. Subhanahu ta'ala wa ta'ala. He would say this in the morning. He would say also that in the evening, changing the wordings. For example, in the evening, he would say, alayhi salatu wa salam, amsayna wa amsa al-mulku lillahi wa alhamdulillah la ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika lah lahu al-mulku wa lahu alhamd وهو على كل شيء قدير رب أسألك خير ما في هذه الليلة وخير ما بعدها وأعوذ بك من شر هذه الليلة من شر وأعوذ بك من شر هذه الليلة وشر ما بعدها. This is the warning of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and he will continue saying رب أعوذ بك من الكسل وسوء الكبر رب أعوذ بك من عذاب في النار وعذاب في القبر عليه الصلاة والسلام what a beautiful dua and going to bed he would make dua لو إني وضعت جنبي باسمك اللهم باسمك وضعت جنبي وباسمك أرفع اللهم إن أمسكت نفسي فاغفر لها وإن أرسلتها فاحفظها بما تحفظ به الصالحين من عبادك if a person makes this kind of dua he does not fear to die Allahumma bismika wa ta'atu jambi wa bismika arba'a Allahumma in amsakta nafsi wa faqdir Allah If you decide to take my soul Oh Allah forgive me Forgive her Wa in arsaltaha If you wake me up and make her alive Fahfabha Bima tahfabu bihi salihina min ibadik And in the middle of the night When turning over He would say لا إله إلا الله الواحد القهار. You know when you sleep, sometimes you turn from this side to that side. Don't just you know turn or feel like you are tired or you don't you know you you you're not comfortable. Even when you are asleep, whatever happens, then the first thing that comes to your mind is Allah سبحانه وتعالى. That's why you will say at this time لا إله إلا الله الواحد القهار. رب السماوات والأرض وما بينهما العزيز الغفار. When turning over during the night when one sleeps. When also one is experiencing unrest, الفزع أو القلق, fear during the night when sleeping أو الوحشة, loneliness. You are alone in a place. You have no one with you. You are unresting. You feel uh, afraid. You, 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 it's fearful, the situation. You would, this, you would follow the guidance again of the Prophet وسلم, saying, أعوذ بكلمات الله تامات من غضبه وعقابه وشر عباده ومن همزات الشياطين وأن يحضرون you again seek refuge with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his perfect and complete words from his anger, from his punishment, from the evil of his servants and from 
the madness in the presence of the shayateen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us from shaitan and the madness of the presence and the presence of the shayateen. Amen. And when sometimes you have bad dreams, people when they have bad dreams, the first thing they do in the morning, you know, they talk to people, you know, I have this bad dream, I don't know what it is. Do you know someone who, you know, make a ta'bir ru'ya or ta'bir al You call people, you know, unveiling your secret. The Prophet didn't do that. And he didn't tell us to do that. What he said is, when one has a bad dream, let him uh, spit three times on his left side and then seek refuge with Allah from shaitan and from the evil of what he has seen. And after that, let him not talk to anybody about the bad dream he has. That's what the Prophet said. And he said that if you feel like getting up to pray, get up and pray. If you feel like getting up to pray, get up and pray. But first of all, seek refuge, uh, speak three times at your left side. Seek refuge with Allah from the evil of shaitan and from the evil of what you have seen in your dream. And then do not talk to anybody about that. Not only that, but the Prophet Sallallahu also recommends you when you have this type of dream, you know, you change the position in which you were sleeping. You were sleeping on your right, now you can uh, sleep on your back. But don't sleep on your left side because that's prohibited from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Don't also sleep on your stomach. Sleep either on your right side or on your, uh, on your back. That is the uh, who to the head of the Rasulullah and the Prophet وسلم, also during the dua, during the salah, as we said, he used to make so many da'wah and even the uh, nawafil, such as the biggest nawafil of all the nawafil, the biggest nawafil which is salat al witr there is a qanun for the Prophet وسلم, he would say Allah muhdini if he man hadayt wa aafini if he man aafayt وَتَوَلَّنِي فِي مَنْ تَوَلَّيْتِ وَبَارِكِي فِي مَا أَعْطَيْتِ وَقِنِي شَرَّ مَا قَضَيْتِ وَقِنِي شَرَّ مَا قَضَيْتِ فَإِنَّكَ تَقْضِي وَلَا يُقْضَى عَلَيْكِ إِنَّهُ لَا يَذِلُّ مَنْ وَالَيْتِ وَلَا يَعِزُّ مَنْ عَلَيْتِ تَبَارَتَّ وَتَعَلَيْتِ It's beautiful dua that you hear all of, the, all of you Most of times people just hear it in Ramadan But it is not only in Ramadan Anytime you make uh, with you are required to make this dua, whether uh, at the end of the, uh, of the recitation or after uh, the ruku'ah, you make it after the ruku'ah, or even after finishing the ruku'ah, the, 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 the salat itself, the salat al -witr. And so on, so do the qunut uh, in fajr, such as the Malikiyah, which is Allahumma inna nista'inuka wa nista'ahiruka, wa numinu bika wa nista'akkalu alayhi, wa nusni alayhi kal khayla kullah. نشكرك ولا نكبر ونترك من يكبر اللهم إياك نعبد ولك نصلي ونسجد إليك نسعى ونحمد نرجو رحمتك ونخاف عذابك الجد إن عذابك بالكافرين مشعر. This also it, it is a beautiful قنوة that you do at fajr time but when you do it at fajr time it is different because at which some people they can do it they do it loudly but in fajr time you hear the imam after reciting fatiha in the surah he keeps silent knows that he's reciting this qunut and it is from the sunnah. So Aimma they do it after the ruku' of the 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 the, 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 the salat al meaning it's going to be at the last raka'ah of salat al fajr means the, the, the second raka'ah. The second raka'ah he recites a fatiha and a surah then he recites the qunut silently. He may make it before ruku' he may also make it after Raising up from the rukur. And there is also a dua for anxiety. When one uh, is, uh, gets uh, some type of chosen or some type of alham, alham wa chosen, anxiety and, 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 and sorrow, the Prophet sallallahu would say, Allahumma inni abduk, wa abna abdik, wa abna ummatik, wa abna ammatik, nasiyati biyadik, maadun maadun biya abduk, ما ظن هي حكمك عظم هي قضاءك 
as'aluka bi kulli ismin huwa 